Hello everyone, I am the Money, and I will be reading Scootaloo is slightly flame retardant by Don't Wanna Know. Scootaloo is slightly flame retardant. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We're already worried. Please, Doctor, tell me they're alright. Applejack and Rainbow Dash stood beside her, awaiting the news as well. Miss Rarity and Miss Applejack, there is no need to worry. Your sisters have suffered a few minor first-degree burns. Nothing serious. They should be healed up within a week. The doctor was happy to inform them. Wait, what? What about Scoots? Rainbow Dash bit her lip. Oddly, besides a few charged feathers, Scootaloo showed no signs of injury. You should be very proud of her. If she hadn't pulled Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle out of that fire thing, things... Could have gotten worse, the doctor called her. Oddly, besides a few charred feathers, Scootaloo shows no sign of injury. You should be very proud of her. If she hadn't pulled Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle out of that fire, things could have been much worse, the doctor told her. Can we just see him? Applejack asked, still fretting a bit. Yes, they're in room 502 right now, down the hall and to the left, the doctor pointed a hoof. Inside the room, the three mares found their younger counterparts. Strangely, they were in high spirits. Applebloom and Sweetie Belle were lying bandaged up, sharing a hospital bed, and Scootaloo was hopping about on the floor, buzzing her little wings. Scootaloo got our cutie mark! The two younger sisters shouted as the orange pegasus leapt about gleefully, an ear-to-ear -ear grin on her face. Any admonishes the trio of mares had for the little ones were forgotten when they saw how happy the fillies were. Let's see it, Scoots, Rainbow Dash said excitedly. Look! The little pegasus hopped over to them and showed off the glistening new mark on her flank. It was an image of a tiny flame with an X over it. The mares were confused. That's wonderful, Scootaloo, dear. Rarity tried to be tactful. But... May I ask, what does it mean? She glanced over at Applejack and Dash, but they seemed as confounded as she. I think it means I'm fireproof, Scootaloo said. The joy and awe in her voice was palpable. I don't know, Scoots, Rainbow pondered. You are a little bit burned, so you can't be fireproof. I don't think any pony can be fireproof. Uh, Scootaloo's excitement decreased a little as she reconsidered her new mark. Well, then, maybe it means I'm a good firefighter. She perked right back up. Uh, Scootaloo, not to rain on your parade, but you're the one who started the fire in the first place, Applebloom interjected. Scootaloo's cutie mark crusader's torch jugglers idea hadn't gone very well. Well, darn it! Little Pegasus was starting to get irritated. What does it mean, then? What's my special talent? Rarity, Applejack, and Rainbow Dash exchanged blank expressions. Hey, why don't we go ask Twilight? Dash finally piped up. She knows everything. I bet she can tell you. Yeah, Scootaloo said with renewed excitement. Let's go! Just a minute, came the familiar voice as Scootaloo rapped impatiently on the library door. When it opened, a sleepy-looking Twilight greeted them, still in her pajamas. Did you just get up, hon? Applejack inquired. Yeah, I was up all night reshelving books. Then I decided I didn't like the way I'd reshelve them, so I'd have to re reshelve them, and. Oh, my apple bloom. Sweetie Belle, what are those bandages for? Are you two alright? The doc says they'll be fine, Rainbow Dash said. Thanks to Scoots here. Rainbow patted her number one fan on her head and toasted her mane. Scootaloo saved us! Even if she did start the fire in the first place, Applebloom explained. Now the Crusader caper gone awry, I'm afraid. Applejack shot a reproachful glance at her sister. I see. So what brings you all here, then? Twilight wondered. Do you know what a picture of a flame with an X over it means? Rarity asked. Uh, for, oh yeah, of course. Twilight laughed. In fact, she turned the waistband of her pajamas inside out. On it was a tag with a symbol identical to Scootaloo's cutie mark. It's used on fabrics and the like. It means flame retardant. Flame re what now? Applejack puzzled. 
Flame retardant. It means it won't burn as easily. You don't want your PJs coming up in flames. I'm fireproof! Skulu shouted with exhilaration. This is awesome! Wait, what? Now it was Twilight's turn to be confused. She stared quizzically at the orange chili until she saw the mark on her flank. Oh, wow. Skootaloo, your kitty mark. Congrats, she said, with a what-the-fuck style expression on her face. Now I can be a torch juggler or a fire breather or something cool like that, and I'll never get burned. Skootaloo felt like she had superpowers. Um, hold on a minute there, Skootaloo. Twilight raised a hoof gingerly. Scootaloo's stopped bouncing. Fireproof and flame retardant are two very different things. Huh? Well, how different? Well, something that's fireproof won't burn at all. Something that's flame retardant will still burn, just not as easily as most things. Well, could I still swallow fire? The filly asked hopefully. I wouldn't recommend it. Could I walk through fire? Uh, maybe. You'd have to do it really quickly, though. Well, what can I do, then? Scootly demanded. I think this calls for an experiment. <laughs> okay, see now, if I hold my hoof over the candle for more than a second or two, I... Ow. I get burned, Twilight demonstrated. Now you try. Scootaloo thrust her hoof into the flame confidently, only to recoil a few seconds later when it started to burn. Huh. Five seconds... Well, that's three more than most ponies. Delight made an attempt at a convincing smile and failed miserably. So, what's my special talent, then? Well, Scootaloo, it appears you are slightly flame-retardant. Like your pajamas? Eh, yeah. Maybe not quite as much, but, uh... Twilight trailed off. Scootaloo looked around at her friends, all of whom were doing their best to look happy for her, and sucking at it, nervous grins plastered on their faces. She slumped back onto her hunches and sighed. She looked at her ridiculous cutie mark. God damn it!